A very warm welcome. I'm Vanessa. A four-digit number, ABCD, when multiplied by four, gives DCBA. What is the number ABCD? So with that, this kind of question, the first thing that we always would go for is the office, all right? And of, of course, then we would have to do uh, some trial and error and some testing of the hypothesis with the other value. Because we see that um, A, B, C, D, they appear twice. Okay, so now, as I, as, we, as I said just now, we go for the most obvious. Okay, in this case, looking at a four digit multiplied by four and still give us a four digit, it means that there is no carrying over. It means that A times four is still a single digit. Now, if that's the case, what could A possibly be? A could be either 1 or 2. Right? And of course, as what I say just now, we have to confirm that. Because there is another A that appears here. Right? And looking at this, D times 4 equals to something that ends with A. But we know that any number, when multiplied by an even number, will still be an even number, because 4 is an even number. So A cannot be all. So A must be 2. Okay, so if A is 2, let's write out here. So 2, B, C, D, and then we times 4 to give us something with 2. Okay, so now, which is the most obvious, or which is the next most obvious? So looking at this, now that we know the thousands, 2 times 4 still give us D. 2 times 4 equals to 8. So D must be either greater or equals to 8. Right. And since there's no carryover, D must be either 8 or 9. And of course, we have to confirm that with the other D here. Okay, the other D says that, okay, D times 4 must give me a number that ends with 2. Alright, must give me a number that ends with 2. So what is D? In this case, can it be D as 8 or 9? So if we know our multiples well, we know that 8 times 4 give us 32. So D must be 8. So if D is 8, let's write down. So it becomes, uh, we have found all this information already. All right, so D, uh, okay, so D is 8, then we know that it's carryover of 32. Okay, so now, which is the next obvious one? <laughs> All right, so since we know that, that means to say that there's no carryover from here, B times 4, there's no carryover, <clears throat> because 2 times 4 is still 8. There's no carryover when I take B times 4. So it means that B either equals to 1 or 2. It cannot be 3, because 3 times 4 is 12. That would be, give us a double digits, and that would be a carryover. But we already say that A equals to 2. So A cannot be, a B cannot be equals to 2 as well. Alright? So with that, B must be equals to 1. <clears throat> so let's put in the numbers now. So I have 2, 1, C, 8. Okay. Okay, now. So we know that it's carry over here. And what we do know is that C times 4 plus 3 will give me a number that ends with 1. Okay. Will give me a number that ends with 1. Looking at this 3 here, we know that C times 4 must be a number that ends with 8 in the 1's place. So what are the multiples of 4 that ends with 8? It could be 8 itself, and of course 28, uh, and then I don't think any more. Alright, single digit, so of course C cannot be 12. Alright, so with that, can I try if this is 8, that means if this is 8, C must be 2. But we just say that A is 2, 
So this cannot happen. So it must be 28. So if 28, what do I have? 4 times 7. Alright, so 4 times 7 plus 3 equals to 31. So if that's the case, let's see. If I put a 7 here, so what do I have? 7 times 4 is uh, 31. So I would have a carryover here. So 1 times 4 is 4. 4 plus 3 is 7. So this is 7 as well. So everything matches now. So it has to be 2, 1, 7, 8. And when we multiply by 4, it will give us 8, uh, 7, is it 7? 1, 2. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So our ABC is 2, 1, 7, 8. I hope you like it. Give me a like and share um, if you find this interesting. <laughs> yeah. This is Vanessa signing off. Bye-bye.